Hi guys, welcome to the channel Idli Vada Sambar. Hope you all safe and good at home. So today's recipe is this a mini puff or a small puff which is very famous in EBs and Kaya Bakes. Let's do that at home now. Let's start guys. I have taken a 1 cup of maida and sweeped it and added 2 tsp of rava and a little bit of salt to the taste. I'm adding a half teaspoon of it and a little bit of sugar that's 1 teaspoon and a little bit of oil and mix them all well. My cute little daughter is helping me. After kneading the dough, I'm going to refrigerate that for 15 minutes to make them a little more harder. We want the every layer to be crispy in this small puff. So take an aluminium foil and cover it and refrigerate it for 15 minutes in the fridge. Now after 15 minutes, I have taken some maida flour for dusting and 2 teaspoon of butter. Now spread the dough as thin as you can. So it's time to apply some butter. Before applying a butter, dust some flour and give a single layer of coat in the butter. And fold it towards inwards and use the same aluminium foil and refrigerate it for again 10 minutes. Repeat this step for 2 to 3 times. In 3 times we will get more than 10 layers. So the most important is apply butter but before applying the butter every time dust some flour. The combination of the flour and the butter it just takes every layer separately. So this time refrigerate only for 5 minutes. We are going to add a little bit of sesame seeds. Now spread it but don't put a lot of pressure. Add some sesame seeds and apply the butter and some flour. Now make it a little more folds now. A folds should be a little more thin. Coat the layers with some more butter and dust some flour. So this is the last time we are going to refrigerate only for just 5 minutes and for the coating I am taking one egg and beat that with some salt and for the filling inside the puff I am going to make a paste just grain the onions and tomatoes I have taken 2 onions and 1 tomato and take a quarter teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a half teaspoon of red chili paste that's a homemade if you don't have this red chili paste, add a half teaspoon of chili powder. Now allow it to cook and add some masalas. I am adding a garam masala of quarter teaspoon. And coriander powder of quarter teaspoon. And to give it a little more tangy, I am adding this amcha powder 1 pinch. Now mix everything and allow it to cook by the side until it turns thicker. The dough is now ready to spread into a puff sheet. Don't press a lot because it's already have a lot of layers in that. Let's make it a small small rectangles. 
and take one rectangle puff sheet and give it a wash of water one side and seal it make it into a small packet and add those onion tomato fillings and again seal it with water and press it like this by the sides and make this puff packets I'm doing it for you once again guys seal one end of this and make it into a small packet and add those fillings and cover the ends by just a little bit of water touch and pinch it like this and cover now all the sides are sealed let's give them a egg wash this egg wash makes the outer layer more crispier and give them a golden brown color this frying process just makes only the outer two layers crispier after frying like this we have to bake this same as we bake the cake see the outer layers turns a golden brown let's take it out and the same process like cake i have taken a pressure cooker and added a little bit of salt on the bottom and greased this plate with butter and placing all the puffs remove the gasket and cook it for 25 minutes in the middle after 15 minutes i have taken every puff and turn it upside down see like this way the bottom is burnt and yeah i have taken it out after 25 minutes and ready to serve with coffee and sauce see how many layers have came and the filling everything tastes very yummy guys bored of that ordinary snacks try this and give your valuable comments on the comment section if you have not subscribed subscribe guys by clicking on the simply cook icon if you like the video share it with your friends and family